Hey, what's up guys, it's Mario, back again with our YouTube video. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about Coinbase. It just went public. Coinbase, for those who are recently aware of the company, is a company and it's an exchange that allows you to buy or sell cryptocurrency. I do have a link down below in the YouTube description if you're interested in opening an account. You will receive $10 worth of Bitcoin if you use that link down below. Yeah, going back to Coinbase. Now, they did, go, they did do what's called a direct listing, very different than an IPO initial public offering. They did not raise money. All they did was just went direct public. So some of the shares they had private, the, the common uh, A sh uh, stock shares of A, they went public. And what this pretty much does, it's a liquidity event. It allows a lot of those old investors who invested during the startup phase 10 years ago or eight years ago, it allows them to cash in and take profits. And that caused a lot of volatility in the stock, as you have seen. Uh, as of today, um, Coinbase is actually down 15% since an initial, initial public um, uh, listing. So uh, it does cause volatility. So in this video, I'm going to go over some of the technical analysis, guys, the fundamental analysis. I'm going to go over the investors who, who invested back in the day, how much money, uh, how many shares do they own, especially the investors who own 5% or more. And I'm going to kind of help you guys out and give you some details on that information that's important for a lot of you guys. So uh, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down below to this YouTube channel. I do appreciate all the support, guys. Let me share my screen and let's get started, okay? All right, so what I'm gonna do first, guys, I'm gonna show you guys um, the, uh, the uh, chart really quickly uh, because there has been some volatility uh, uh, in the last two days. I actually did short uh, coin um, base a day uh, and a lot of it has to, be, has to do because yesterday we had a huge sell-off. Now, this is the price section of yesterday. And you guys can see this is a 381 uh, open, which was where this is the area that opened and had a huge move to the upside and it's a straight sell-off. Now, it's kind of hard to tell if the people who are selling are insiders or just speculators. Um, but at the moment, because this is a direct listing and not an initial public offering, I'm leaning towards insiders are taking profits. Insiders are, are taking, um, you know, cashing in. Now on the second day, which is today, we had another sell-off. So when red, now overall, uh, Coinbase is down over 15% since uh, initial uh, listing, uh, which, is, uh, which was priced at 381. So what I wanna do next, guys, um, I wanna share you guys uh, the, the, the investors who invested early on in the startup, as well as what is happening with the current investors and who owns uh, Coinbase right now. Uh, because it makes a huge difference. And hopefully this could kind of help you in terms of determining what is best for you when it comes down to investing in Coinbase and things like that, okay? So let's, let's go back to it and share my screen again. So going back to uh, some of the analysis. Now, <clears throat> going to a Crunchbase website, uh, this is a website that kind of goes over a lot of uh, startup companies and when they raise money, things like that. Uh, so if you look at the summary, uh, you'll see that... Um, Total funding, uh, actually, let me click on here uh, so you guys could get a better sense of what this is. So according to here, uh, to this website, um, Coinbase had uh, 14 uh, rounds of funding uh, and they raised a total of $847 million. Um, and uh, let's kind of scroll down. Uh, I guess one of the first investors or launch investors was actually December 12, 2013 through a Series B uh, funding and they invested, it was around money raised during that, during that mountain, that, that, uh, that fund day was actually 25 million. And it was this company, Adders and Horowitz. Uh, there's been several after that, of course. There was another one in, in 2015, uh, didn't really see who it was, but this is a DFJ growth, uh, Mitsubishi, uh, excuse me, Mitsubishi, uh, Mitsubishi, UFG, IVP. Now, these are all venture capitalist firms, uh, which did buy several years ago. Now, this was back in 2013, 2015. So there's been like, uh, again, over five years, almost eight years. Uh, so a lot of those venture capitalist investors, they have an opportunity now to sell into the current price, into the public price. Now, I want to go over a quick article and kind of show you guys, uh, you know, what's happening. According to this article, Coinbase CEO nets $13 billion after direct listing. 
So pretty much what that means uh, is that right now, whatever uh, the, the CEO, which is uh, Brian Armstrong, in terms of the shares he owns, he's pretty much worth $13 billion right now, you know, close to $13 billion, which is pretty huge. Um, and, you know, so, you know, and people like, uh, like Brian Armstrong, who own that amount, amount, amount of uh, cash or, or an amount of shares, they have an incentive to take profits. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over additional owners. Now, this is the SEC filings. You can find these at sec.gov. Um, and if uh, I just kind of show you guys what this is, this is the prospectus. And this is, it kind of shows you the Coinbase's perspectives. Uh, as you guys can see, there's 114, over 114 million, close to 115 million shares of common stock that went public. Uh, and again, these shares get pretty much uh, you know, investors could, you know, buy and sell these shares or whatever, and insiders could sell and take profits. So kind of going back to uh, the list of investors, I want to show you guys that those, the list of investors. So here it is. So shares beneficiary owned prior to effectiveness of register statement, name executive officers, directors. So here it is, Brian Armstrong, again, the CEO, he owns 2.7 million shares of class A and he owns 36, uh, 36.8 million shares of class B. So he has a 21.6% stake in the company, which is pretty huge. Uh, and he has 21.5% of the voting power. Um, so definitely a lot of concentration of wealth. And not only him, but you have other executives who have a lot of concentration of wealth, a lot of concentration of shares. You have, uh, and, and in terms of uh, venture capitalists, now the reason why I want to focus on venture capitalists, guys, is because venture capitalists, they're, the way their business works is they invest in, in startups, um, you know, and they hold this investment and their liquidity event, their cash in event is when they go public. So once the company goes public, they decide to cash in right away. The reason why this is very important to understand the difference between an initial public offering and a direct listing is that during a direct listing, there is no lockup period meaning the investors are not locked out and, and, and they are able to sell. Because usually during the lockup period, investors, inside investors like venture capitalists are not able to sell the stock until 90 days, usually 90 days or more after the stock goes public. But with the direct listing, all the insiders can sell at any time, any time they can sell right now. And I think some of them have. So I just want to kind of clear that up. Uh, so going back to it, so right now, uh, one of the, 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 uh, the venture capitals that I mentioned earlier is right here, <clears throat> addressing Horowitz. Now, that was one of the initial investors. These guys are probably the ones that I am the one most concerned that I think is probably going to take some profits because they were some of the early investors back in 2013. Uh, and they own 5.5 million shares of Class A, and they own 23 point, or actually more, close to 24 million shares of Class B. So these guys, I believe, are going to take some profits. So we're going to have to kind of see how the stock reacts. Uh, and of course, there's others. There's Paradigm. There's Ribbit Capital. There's, an, uh, there's a Tiger Global uh, Investments Partners LP. Uh, and there's uh, Union Square Ventures. These are all venture capitalists who own 5% or more of Coinbase. And these guys, again, their business is to, to invest in startups. And once the startups go public, their business is to take profits, cash in, cash into the public markets. So that's the reason why I personally believe, you know, right now may not be the best time to invest. I'd rather wait a couple quarters to kind of see how the market reacts to, to Coinbase earnings uh, in, the, in the next four quarters, but also to see if any of these insiders are taking profits and, and they're literally just selling into the, the shares. So you have to be very, very careful about that, okay? So I'm kind of just want to go over uh, Coinbase IPO as in an IPO, and here's why it's important. Um, and actually, I wanted to kind of mention, uh, look, kind of, kind of go over this really quickly. Uh, IPO IPOs raise new capital. Direct listings do not. Something that I was talking about earlier. This direct listing will not fill Coinbase coffers with cash, but it will make it easier for Coinbase to raise capital going forward. A direct listing is a liquidity event. An IPO is a capital raising event. So what is a liquidity event? 
uh, liquidity event. And actually, let me uh, go over uh, this right here. Uh, let me kind of just go over uh, the difference between a liquidity event and an IPO. Uh, actually, direct listing. Actually, let me Google uh, liquidity event. Liquidity. And there it is right here. And it's kind of explained to you guys what a liquidity event is. So here it is. What is a liquidity event? A liquidity event is an acquisition, merger, initial public offering, or other event, um, other event that allows founders and early investors in a company to cash out, to cash out some all, or all of their ownership of shares. Okay. Again, a liquidity event is an acquisition, merger, initial public offering, or other event that allows founders and early investors in a company to cash out some or all other ownership shares. So like I mentioned earlier, guys, what's going to be very, very important and what I'm going to be looking at, I'm going to look at insiders, see if insiders are selling. Now all insiders, they must report to SEC if they're selling shares. So of course, I'm going to be looking at SEC filings to see if the uh, Brian Armstrong, the CEO or other executives are selling into uh, this uh, initial uh, direct listing. Uh, so that's going to be very, very important. Uh, and I'll also kind of look at other investors, venture capitalists are selling into it. Uh, so, so far, there's been two down days in the Coinbase stock. We're down, like I said, over 15% in the stock. So we're going to have to kind of see and wait to see how the market reacts or if insiders are cashing in because this is a direct listing. You know, this is a liquidity event, especially made for uh, direct investors who invested a long time ago to cash in. So... That's very, very, very important. I hope you guys understand it. Now, what I'm gonna want to do is I want to go back to the chart because uh, I, I I did short it. I did a day traded uh, a short on on Coinbase, uh, and that was a day trade, and I was I was short. And again, the reason why is because we had a huge sell off and we had a continuation that sell off, and I think that continuation may continue. Now there is going to be some volatility, and it's kind of hard to know where is this going to hold. Uh, but based, based on the, is a direct listing again, again, there was really no other purpose to this uh, public listing, but just to, to kind of go direct listing. And, and, and to me, it, it really seems like they're just going to take profits. And a lot of insiders are going to take an opportunity and take profits, but we're going to have to wait and see. Uh, now, for me personally, guys, I'd rather wait a couple of quarters uh, before I invest in the long term. Um, and I want to kind of see how uh, the market is going to react to coin uh, base in the next, again, quarter, a couple quarters. So, so far it's been sell off again, two down days. Now these are day candles. So sell off, sell off. And we're going to see uh, how far the seller continues. Now I'm still short buy. So if I get an opportunity to, to short it, I'm going to short it again. Uh, but so far, um, I think this is, this could kind of continue to downtrend. I think this could continue to, to come down. So I hope this video guys makes sense. All these videos are for learning and entertainment purposes, guys. Let me know what you guys think about Coinbase. Let me know in, in the YouTube comments. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel. Uh, you guys will hear from you soon. Take care, guys. Have a good one.